What's up, everybody? Warlog here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you the much requested and just super fun blast angry chicken build for the witch doctor in season 28. Now, I know that this is the silliest build in the entire game, but I'm going to tell you right here and now that it is definitely one of the fastest builds and arguably one of the best ones to do for rainbow goblin farming or even just doing your t16s uh you know just bounty farming doing those kind of things it's pretty solid for all of that so let's go over everything that you're going to need for the build and how to play it which is pretty easy okay so we have the angry chicken okay we're going to start here with the uh mana jumba's way or mana jumba i, I don't know why i even say i'm a b mana jumas mana jumas way okay your hex angry chicken explosion does increase damage and uh triggers additional ones once you kill them which is really nice so if you group them up it's really good your hex angry chicken lasts 15 seconds and movement speed is increased by 100 percent we are going to be very fast while you're in angry chicken mode you spawn a chicken every second that seeks out and deals damage this is kind of minor it's just kind of funny but that is the two main pieces that you're going to need for this build now We've combined it with Captain Crimson's for cooldown because we want to make sure that our hex were able to do this every time we come in and out of chicken mode. Okay, uh, now the trick to this build is using the spirit of Arach what is it, Arachnarar set. You guys are probably going to butcher me in the comments, but uh, using this set because we don't care too much about the two set piece bonus and we only care about the four and the six piece. So you take less damage when uh enemies are in the web so 75 percent reduced damage which is good but the six piece is where we do everything the damage over your creature skills is increased by 25,000 percent creature skills include corpse spiders plague of toads fire bats locust swarm hex and piranha now hex is our ability that is making us into an angry chicken so we get the 25,000 percent increased damage which is huge that's why we're rocking this build um, next, we have the uh, Warzian Chain Arm Guards for more speed. And then, of course, Squirt's Necklace for double damage. Uh, Convention of Elements for more damage. And then um, uh, Ring of Emptiness for uh, even more damage with our Pestilence. Okay. So, uh, our Legendary Gems are Bane of the Trap for more damage. Of course, Boon of the Horror because we're doing everything in T16 for more movement speed. And then I have Molten Wildebeest Gizzard on here for just um, to keep Squirt's up. But in reality, you could probably swap that out. It could be Bane of the Stricken. It could be uh, Gogok of Swiftness you want to, Wreath of Lightning, uh, wherever that is, if you want more movement speed. I mean, so you have a couple options there. I'm just keeping it just because I feel really squishy in this build and we want to keep squirts up at all times. Okay, so uh, into our cube, guys. We have Ingium, so that way we can, once we hit an elite pack, we can just keep spamming this in and out of Angry Chicken mode. Uh, the cuirass for damage reduction while above not primary or above 90%. Now, really, when you're casting your three spells here or four skills, you're really never going to be below this. I mean, you, this should be up almost pretty much all the time. And then, of course, Ring of Royal Gandor to bring the the um, sets together. Now, into our skills, this impassives. This is the juice. So we got Pestilence uh, Locust Swarm uh, to help trigger our Ring of Emptiness. Uh, and then Hex Angry Chicken, this is the main thing. We're gonna be going in and out of Angry Chicken mode. It's gonna look something like this. So you hit Angry Chicken, you're running around, and then you can hit any of the buttons to explode, and then you can go back into Angry Chicken. So it's, it's, kind, of, <laughs> it's kind of hysterical. Uh, and then we have Spirit Walk Severance, Horrify Stalker, uh, and Summon Zombie Dogs. All of this is gonna help us not only have damage reduction here, but these are gonna be all movement speed. So we're going to be casting all of our stuff, hit movement speed, and just get a big boost and just zoom across the map. Into our passives, we have Fierce Loyalty, which gives us an additional dog, but this gives us the increased movement speed, um, which is really nice. Then we have Rush of Essence, so not only when we're casting all this, it gives us back our mana. That's why I said uh, the Aquila is pretty much going to always be up. Then we got, um, excuse me, Grave Injustice for... Uh, cooldown, which is important, and then we have tribal rights not only to give us even more cooldown for uh, Hex. Even though it's 15 seconds, we actually get it back pretty quick. So that is the build, guys. Now, if you really wanted to change out your Aquila, this could be something else. Um, I definitely suggest keeping Ingenum in Inum or Ingium, but you could swap this out to be, um, you know, you could do Gold Wrap since you're doing T16 for even more toughness, which is fine. Um, you're not channeling, so you can't do that. You could do Pride's Fall if you really wanted. Um, 
you could do say Arju's gauge which is really nice it kind of just depends gold wrap is probably the better one um, but the damage taken back is just kind of nice just to kind of help stay alive so let's go in and do a nephilim rift so this is how the build is going to play out this is really great I, I i like tested a lot of it last night which is really cool so when we get in you immediately want to pop zombie dogs so you get the damage reduction and uh, movement speed then we're going to do we're going to pop severance walk and horrify and then once we get to a pack we want to hit languish to get our armor up and then you can cast pestilence right on that first one and then we're just going into angry chicken mode so let's get it super easy I'm just try to find these guys boom boom just pop everything now we're kind of just looking for elites so you want to look for the elites and try to just destroy as many as you can get all your stuff up angry chicken around i heard some goblos boom i'll take all that cook it up and you just zoom man you just zoom around <laughs> angry chicken it lasts 15 seconds hopefully we find a pack i guess not but you can see how much faster you are once you channel everything together. So if you hit both Severance and um, Horrify at the same time, then you're going to be able to uh, get that big boost of speed. Kind of timing this is a little, a little awkward. The build isn't that strong as far as damage, but it's fine for T16, guys. There we go. Just zoom in. I just hate this map. This map is just doo-doo. This map is doo-doo. Ooh, the explosions are so good. See, I don't even know where I'm at. This stupid map. It takes forever on this map. Sweet, level two, thank you. I actually don't even need that, to be honest. We'll kill him though. You really need the groups for the explosion. There we go. See, if you get it in a group, it's real nice. But we're just kind of elite pack and just zooming around. Yeah, in a big pack, you guys can see it really is really, really strong. But the build is just super fun. You're just zooming around as a chicken. Boom. Where you at? Zoom you around too. Come get some. Boom. The build is super fast, guys, and just super fun. Okay, you guys need to back up. And it's especially good for T16 farming. Uh, I know it's it can get a little clunky using the, the skills and the explosions because you really want to group up enemies. But the build is super strong, and it's definitely arguably one of the... It gives the, the infinite dash monk a run for its money when it comes to trying to farm rainbow goblins. So this build is super, super fast and, and a lot of fun, but I wanted to bring it to you guys because Wednesday night, or excuse me, Monday night in stream, we had a lot of people talking about the build. So I wanted to put it together and just showcase it to everybody. So if you're playing witch doctor, have a freaking blast, be an angry chicken. Okay. Run around and terrorize the, the realm of Diablo and just have a blast guys. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe. And then don't forget, guys, we stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on YouTube. So come check us out and join the community. We've been blasting like crazy. Don't forget, Diablo 4 is two days away for the beta. And as always, stay gaming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.